The overall goal of this procedure is to mimic the lung environment and grow pathogens in a manner more similar to that from which they cause disease. This method can help answer key questions in the airway microbiology field, such as how diverse bacterial pathogens interact in the cystic fibrosis lung. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows for easy manipulation of experimental conditions to observe microbial responses similar to how they would occur in an actual lung bronchiole. Demonstrating the procedure will be Will Comstock from our laboratory. To prepare artificial sputum medium, combine 16 milliliters of previously prepared mucin stock solution, 2 milliliters of potassium chloride stock solution, 2 milliliters of sodium chloride stock solution, 200 microliters of egg yolk emulsion, 5.6 milliliters of DNA stock solution, 120 microliters of ferritin stock solution, 5.78 milliliters of essential amino acid solution, 5.78 milliliters of non-essential amino acid solution, and 2.44 milliliters of sterile water. The careful creation of sterile artificial sputum medium is extremely important, as any contamination can alter bacterial activity in the incubated capillary tubes further down the line. After gently shaking to mix, pipette 5 milliliters of the medium into 8 sterile 15 milliliter centrifuge tubes. The medium can now be modified to achieve the desired chemical conditions. For instance, the media shown here have had their pH altered and dyes added to reflect their different acidities. Next, under a sterile biohood, add 900 microliters of medium to each of 8 sterile 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes.